and welcome to Reactive Terrain. Yes, in this episode, we are getting all hot and sweaty and sand in places where you do not want sand because over the weekend we've been moonlighting, doing a private job and we've been basking in the heat and whether it was a bit of heat stroke talking, we've decided, <laughs> no, he decided. Okay, I decided <laughs> I didn't. at the 12th hour because it's Sunday and normally I am going home by Normally's now. Normally going home by now. We are going to completely change one section of our course. Not a little section, a big section. To a complete barren desert. This is the area we are going to change. Yes, I can hear you all now going, no, it looks so good. And it does. It does look so good. But there's also a lot of dead space. There's a lot of premium land stuck right over the back of here. And we did just, we did, you know, we did think about just piling more gray up there and, you know, getting it things. But we do have some nice desert red rock. And we've got a bit of sand. And I think this whole area will look absolutely fantastic as Rattle Snake Canyon. Why are you standing there, man? You've got a strip. <laughs> I'm stripping, I'm stripping. <laughs> Say, I know it's Sunday, but... I know. You haven't, was, you haven't was, done was, nothing all day. I was told we were doing <laughs> We've been on our hands and knees pointing all morning, um, finishing off. So, uh, so we've got loads of this stuff. And we're going to take all of this red rock here because it looks a little like out of place there. We kind of piled it there, but it looks really out of place. So we're going to use all the grey rock from over here. <coughs> we're going to take it and then we're going to put it there and then take this one and put it all over there. Now, does it need to be green? No, we, we don't need green. No, we don't need green. Uh, we're going to keep the barren trees, which are here and here. This one can stay in place. Uh, I think this is just rested in there, maybe. Uh, all of this we are going to paint in a sand dune colour with sand texture. So we're really going to overhaul this whole section. And look, if we don't like it, we can just paint it all back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that does mean that we are going to get rid of the street lamps because that idea isn't really... We're going to kind of use that space for some buildings and stuff. But really, it's premium crawling area and we want to use it, especially as the club is getting bigger and more space and crawling areas are required. And we're going to make it a little tougher as well. So we're going to take the gas station out. Uh, we need to find a new location that. We're not sure where we're going to put it. And clear this whole area ready for the dunes of Rattlesnake Canyon. Oh yeah, this tree's got to go as well. Timber! <laughs> I don't think that will pull out. Though. I don't think it will. He's listened to Inwell. And then we've got stacks of rocks then to kind of build up the miner's mound. We're going to put some more heavy rock systems up on the mountain sides. And yeah, gives us a lot more uh, premium rock to kind of move. We're still not sure on this section. This section we can also now use the grey rock for and build up to make that a permanent line as well. Yes, it is all happening Big at spider. Reactive Terrain. <laughs> we found a spider. Big spider. Oh, look, there he goes. Big spider. Right, let's tear this thing down. 20 minutes in and we've uh, completely destroyed the whole place. Dust everywhere. G-Dog's on the hoover. He, he's blocked the hoover. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to hoover up all the dirt and dust so it doesn't uh, get into all the sand that we're going to put down. Yeah, super cool. You forget how deep these used to be. This was actually filled almost two and a half inches high. Now we've dug it all out and it's a lot deeper so cool new lines coming into there yeah taking out all the aid oh he's lost, he's, so he's stopped now well um i've got to move he's got to move big pile of rubbish this is just going to find somewhere to empty that out so we're going to red rock all down here devil's drop is still saying the devil's drop but it's going to be in red rock instead of gray rock and we're going to come all the way along here and this is where the transition is going to happen where the edge of the water feature 
kind of stops and it's going to kind of be grey green into the red desert so this will all be red and we might just put another grey rock back in here to add to the transition so you're going into a, a neutral area of green and grey uh sorry red and uh lush green and again i think what we're going to do is build all this up here and create a new pass so that you come up off this ramp up onto the pass and over here and then it's just desert absolute barrack desert and there is a good reason why we're doing this because me and g-dog may have some new toys coming <laughs> If you want to know what they are then you better hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and the like button and comment below and do whatever else youtube tells you to do because that's what we've been told to say did i get that right you did excellent well that's a little bit of a different color so we're mixing kind of a, a bit of a concoction we've got a a masonry yellow or like a cottage cream color that we're going to use and we're mixing in with some soft well g-dogs do it right now soft sand cement and this masonry cottage cream to give us this kind of yellowy sand color and it's really nice and textured and then it means that you've got a bit of grip and you know we can stipple it to make it really kind of grippy and grainy and then it also means that we can add natural sand over the top of it as well just to really add that element of realism but yeah you imagine that whole area is now going to be a sand color it's going to look very bright well we're doing it now no going back now g-dog any regrets i've done it all right let's do it <laughs> well we're, we're 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 committed this is like textured city this has got a great real deep thick texture to it and we are just applying it loosely i think is the word um over everything and then we're gonna wet up some sand and try and get some sand lines in it and yeah this has definitely got a bit of texture to it so it'd be interesting to see what the tires are like on this g-dogs ruined our best dustpan uh, well i'm gonna have to repaint the front, front re repaint the front of this <laughs> I ain't getting it on the car. <laughs> yeah, G-Dog. I'm not, I'm not washing them brushes. It looks like a big pile of custard. I, <laughs> I just think now we could do with a nice donut on top. Aye. Wow. Talking of donuts, we can always put one on top. Aye, right, got your donut over there. Look. Yes! Custard in your donut. The donut. But as it's drying, it's definitely drying a lot darker. So now while it's still a bit wet, I'm gonna just put a little bit of red sand in a few areas. So what we've done is we've brushed it because it's very, it's got a lot of texture, it looks wicked. And we've brushed like these drifts into it and stuff like that. And we have got some reddish sand, which I'm hoping, I'm gonna use my uh, usual trick with a water spray and some red sand lines and then just spritz it. The red sand will disperse, but hopefully it'll leave a, tinge of red of red in the in the paint yeah let's do it let's have a go so there you go adding sand dune textures into our mix and all we're doing is using a very red soft sand and spritzing it with water while this is still wet and gently brushing it all through and it looks absolutely epic i'll hold it while you do a oh. Okay, yes. just just show the ladies and gentlemen what we're doing. So there he is with his water. Look, spritzy, spritzy. Just a bit like dry brushing, really, but with sand. Yeah, basically. And as you come down now, you're just going to come down and sweep up. Look, I mean that's just a 
around. Yeah. Yeah, it looks wicked. Just praying to the uh, sand gods. Sorry, no, I, I was just trying to put my leg back. There we go. The sand dunes. So many, many moons ago, I came across a ton of iron ore or bedrock doing a job I was doing. And um, it's been under my shed for a very, very long time. And now, now we get to use it. This is starting to really look absolutely epic. side wrong side don't really matter I can we do this every Look, time it matches me beard Look, well mine's more like snow you're cat. you're more like the uh, mountain range than the uh, desert i'm well, like the desert us, yeah yeah look yeah mountain <laughs> desert that's it so there you go two and a half hours of hard graft and look what you can achieve um just put the camera up a little bit more look at that i mean that is looking it looks pretty absolutely cool awesome <laughs> So yeah, I, there is some crazy good lines in there. It's going to be quite a tough little uh, area because of all the sand and everything. It's, you know, um, and I don't know how well or how grippy any of this is going to be. Well, it's probably, do you know what? It's the usual thing. When, when we do something, yeah. you never know what it's going to do or how it's going to react. So, you know, when we, <laughs> we come and go. No, 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 fine. We're good. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter how we do it. We, we just try different things. We've tried this. Well, it hasn't cost us a dime, okay. number one, because we salvaged a, a, an old bit of masonry paint that was like a creamy yellow. We put sand and cement in it to add <laughs> texture. The cement had almost gone off, so that added lumps and lumps. <laughs> yeah. um, and then the job that we've been on, we had a couple of uh, literally two bags of uh, sharp sand left over, which we've used to kind of dress the course up. And there's this, this kind of rocky... Uh, so that is going to be the Rattlesnake Canyon at the back. Uh, so you've got Outlaw Pass, you've got Devil's Drop and Rattlesnake Canyon. And there is some crazy lines on this section of rocks is, at the top. Is. And yeah, it's uh, it's really added a nice dynamic to the course. It was very grey. There's a lot of grey going on. And now we've got this nice red desert area. I don't, it's not even red, is it? I mean, it's a gorgeous colour. We haven't even wet that stone down yet. No, because it's still quite dusty stuff. and stuff like that. So everything's really dusty, but you know what? I ain't going down the pub with him again. Because he <laughs> said, tell you what, Dad, take you down the pub. Let's have a chat. This is what we ended up with. I mean, it's awesome. I got them with me. Less than 24 hours later, we've built it. It's done. <laughs> it's done. Job done. You know. So uh, there you go. But it's all for a good reason, because we have a few little goodies coming. Hopefully, well, we have no idea when they're going to turn up. But um, I'll be on holiday when they turn yeah, up. Probably. He'll be having fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to them. And yeah, this is what's to come, guys. We are really kind of homing in the detail and just changing a few things up. Uh it's, you know, we use the course all the time. So it's one of those things, but we have got tons of rock left. Look, look at all this rock down here. I mean, the rock pit has turned into a, like a... Yeah, that, that was supposed to be, let, let's just get the listeners in. But that was supposed to be dragged outside when the sun was shining, like it is today. And we're stuck in here <laughs> in this. The sun shining. But we have, we have acquired a lot, a lot more grey rock, which means we can build a lot, a lot more bigger uh obstacles and definitely fill in a few areas that we need to i think a lot of it may be used trying to get up this side of the uh water feature but um yeah it's exciting 
Well, we've still got we've still got other parts of the track that we are trying to do up yeah. already. Yeah. Um, we've had these ideas for a long time. This one is chopped and changed. We didn't do what we wanted to do with it, but now we've done that. No, well, it was I premium floor it. space that we wanted to turn into uh, lines, basically, so that yeah. we've got a uh, crawling area and a trail area, and it really has added that, in, you know, that, that transition from kind of this desert area, and we're going to go into the grey green and the water, so it's like it comes off into the oasis area. <laughs> so if you don't like sand on your tyres, or mud or water, or water, don't come to reactive terrain. <laughs> yeah, and on is... that bombshell, <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to the channel, then welcome. Yes, yes make sure you hit the notification button because you're going to want to make sure that you see all the videos. Uh, these are going to be shorter, a lot shorter than some of our build videos because, well, you know what we're up it's to. It's already built. All we got to yeah. do is change it. I mean, yeah, that's, exactly. You know, yeah. That's the way it uh, is. And yeah, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And the notification bell. And, and I'll see, see you next time. time. <laughs>